I think we all need to actually thank the Game Awards on Steam because it's amazing this coincidence of all these uh, quality of life updates and patches mm-hmm. that ah, tend to show ah, up yes. right around. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, please, please play our game and please, us please, please consider award. us. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. As it says down there, I'm Vin. That is Jordan. And that is Pedro, as it says down there for audio listeners. I, I, man, you got to tune in and see what it actually says because it just says Pedro. <laughs> it is um, wildly inaccurate. Let's go with that. It is terrifying. Right, Peter. But hush, Greg. <laughs> My, Gordon. Gordon. I'm Peter My name Matthews. is Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, help on this form. Cocaine Voltron. What's new, gentlemen? I have. Um, we're going to talk about it in just a moment. Uh, just buying stuff on sale. Jordan forced me to buy a... Uh, what did I buy? I don't Strange remember. Brigade. Strange Brigade. <laughs> I, I, I held you at gunpoint over a pit of spikes. You're like, damn it. I said, buy, it. buy, I, buy I, this I, game I, or you will die, Ben Stone. <laughs> it was such a good bargain. I was powerless. And um, now I've been playing around with a bunch of stuff. Uh, surprisingly, uh, what was it? Last night, I think. That yeah, was last night. Uh, I did that uh, camera video, right? And I'm like, hey, this is a hack that ended up on Hackaday. Get home this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, look, it's on the front page of Slash Dot. Lovely. And uh, which <laughs> 90s Vin would have been ecstatic. But I was also like, I better log in and see how the server's doing behind Cloudflare. I'm like, okay, it's still alive. Good. But it wasn't a smoldering crater or anything like that. I have an update for you, gentlemen. Oh. I have an update. Because I got something. Bonk RAM? Bonk. Green Bonk. RAM? I got RAM. Well, I ordered 100 gigabytes of RAM last week. Oh, Is yeah, it actual RAM or DDR1 like it was for uh, <laughs> are, are they chocolate? <laughs> Bite into it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, which we can only assume with a pr- pricing error, you know, this is a verified long-term seller on Amazon. I got one stick of Nemix RAM, which is eight gigs. <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. PC uh, ten six hundred, and the other one is Kingston, three? which is uh, can't really tell. <laughs> anyway, so, okay. So, <laughs> it, 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 is it just a hundred gigs of assorted dims? Like <laughs> no, like one is like eight gigs, and the other one's like some other random. It's not even two sided, so it's going to be even smaller. Probably, I don't know. I mean, here's how it went down, like that. It was like 67% off all that day. A couple of people ordered it, you know, and I ordered two 64 gig kits. It shipped. That's what I was talking about last week. Like, yeah. I got a tracking number. I'm like, something's going to show up. We got to see how this is going to play out. And, and this is not like Slappy's Ram Shack either. This is like a long time Amazon seller. And, um, how dare you besmirch Slappy's Ram Shack? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> they probably I've known wouldn't Slappy have for 20 you years. Like they did. <laughs> yeah. We put all that together, and uh, then I get a notification from these guys, and they say, hey, check this out. Uh, well, there might have been an error with an inventory system. You were getting stuff in the mail. You can dispose of it. Here's a refund. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, now, I'm not going to say the plot thickens. I'm going to write Amazon back. Now, I don't expect to get anything. I don't. But, if... As somebody who has dealt with inventory systems on multiple occasions, if I have an inventory glitch, it's not going to send the person like two different things. Yeah. So I'm just going to write Amazon back and be like, this is fishy as hell. I don't even want anything. I'm just saying, go take a look. See, Cause like, what the hell were you up to? How does this make sense? Why don't you just cancel the order right there? Instead of sending like just random Ram to random people. Cause Ram, Ram, random, random. <laughs> Were they trying to launder some money? Just I don't know. Launder it trying through to launder some shipping. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, my heart's not broken. I didn't expect to. I expected to get canceled. Now I have like I don't know two random sticks of RAM. Other things I'm playing around. I'm working on the Steam rectangle. It is under the way. So no Steam brick, but a Steam rectangle. It's going to be a gaming PC. It's going to be something to crush Pedro's Steam machine. The, the one I see, into you Xbox. only have to beat a 1650, so oh, it no, baby, doesn't... I'm talking about your Steam Deck. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's probably easier. 
Okay, both of them duct taped together. <laughs> I mean, they both have 16 gigs of RAM. It's just, yeah, no, that one actually has a dedicated uh, 1650. So th- there's that to be. <laughs> There is that. How about you, Jordan? Uh, you got your thing. We got a screenshot of it. Pedro and I, uh, we were setting yeah. up uh, at the beginning and we got the screen. We're like, okay, something's yeah. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, my, my NanoPi R6S showed up. Uh, that's that uh, eight core rock chip uh, single board computer with like the three uh, the three Ethernet ports, two of which are 2.5 gigahertz or uh, gigabit. Um, but yeah, so I, I got it. I plugged it in. I've been using a capture card to to interface with it because I don't have a monitor lying around. How's that half second uh, Lego? <laughs> it sucks really bad. <laughs> I'm really hoping to get the display out working, but you know, yeah, I, I, I haven't really had an opportunity to play with it a lot because I've had to work all weekend and a bunch Ooh. of evenings and I am not happy about that. Ugh. What about you, Pedro? How, 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 how's your job going? My job is still very, very busy, though a lot less now, because uh, it's not just me doing a bunch of stuff for three or four different regions at a time. They hired more people. So, yes, uh, oh, that, that, my that workload nice. seems to have de- diminished considerably, which which is nice. <laughs> that, uh, that, that, that sounds wonderful. I hate well, you forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> attitudes like that is going to cause the horse to molt yet again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It's probably due. It's getting a little crusty. Uh, maybe, maybe some uh, stuff stuck on there shouldn't be. It's the steel gentlemen. Sale. It is a sale, and I thought we'd just start right at the top and just talk about some of the things that we bought. Because uh, you know, I, I went looking. You know, I went to Steam DB and I sorted by ninety because I talked a bunch of shit. I'm like, I don't ever see any crazy good sales, and I'm not going to talk a bunch of shit unless I'm going to back it up with something. I'm like, well, let's go and sort by sales. And, you know, where do you put, like, the how many stars or, you know, overall rating? I'm usually, like, 65% slow, so I'm going to go. And I found a couple things. Like, strangely, I found uh, a game that I wanted to play a long time ago, Unraveled, mm. which, you know, is a little yarn creature. I remember watching, like, a trailer for that. When, what was that? A long time, like 2016, 2018, something like that. And uh, I was like, you know what? Unravel, it was like 98% off. It was a buck. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pick that up. And I went and they're like, how about we tempt you with the Unravel bundle? Are you going to Unravel mm. 2? And I'm like, they made an Unravel 2? Okay. Uh, how much? $2. Mm. Fine. <laughs> you drive a hard okay. bargain. <laughs> <laughs> so I got those. And uh, they are both EA games. And they're both broken and unique in interesting ways and uh if you want to know unravel just doesn't fucking launch and unravel 2 now launches we'll talk about that a bit more in the uh update but there's no controller support i picked up guardians of the galaxy which had an interesting mini boss took about 102 minutes according to steam before i was in game playing it satisfactory um it it does run though it is fine it is a non-stop tsunami of mediocrity with a bitching soundtrack (laughs) <laughs> and once you get over the uh the way my brain works because they didn't use any of the actual actors they spend all the money on the soundtrack but like like no we're gonna we we have our own um it, it, they look like the stunt doubles from yeah. space balls don't they <laughs> it, is. It, was the same, it was the same thing with marvel's avengers they're like it's captain america and it's like his face is all warped it's like oh my god what is it, wrong with your face dude um so my brain is like just pretend they're the comic book characters which i have no idea what they look like but that's the way my brain's working with it um and uh dead by daylight i picked that up last night after we saw uh, again we're gonna talk about that in a minute what did you pick up pedro uh, well, uh, you got me that by daylight uh, as well. Uh, thank you very much for that. And yes, I tried it. It works. I bought The Sinking City, which I wanted to play it for a long, long time. But there was like a big snafu between the developer and the publisher. And usually oh. the publisher. Yeah. The, uh. Usually it's the publisher that's at fault because it's their publishers. But in this case, it's not that clear cut. <laughs> 
There were, uh, the developer did some naughty things too, and I spent some time reading it. It's like, okay, so I can either give money to the publisher on Steam and get the game just working with Proton, or I can go through the developer and have to set it up on Lutris myself. So the publisher got my money. Mm. Uh, then I also bought Descenders, uh, which I've wanted to uh, play for a while. Actually, Linux native, so uh, very much looking forward to that. And the Complete Fear Collection, which has the first, uh, that has the three games plus all four bits of DLC. So that's uh, the first one. I just tried it. I saw a lot of people complaining, oh, it doesn't scale. If you have a high res monitor, it doesn't scale very well. I loaded it up and it's like, okay, the, the UI is pretty small, but that's great. That means you get game all through the monitor and it's not covered by the UI. That's good. <laughs> How about you, Jordan Salon? <laughs> well, I had uh, $14 left over from uh, the gift card that Jill got me for my uh, birthday. So I got I grabbed uh, Jedi Souls Deluxe because that was 8 bucks, And I figured I'll give that a try because I like lightsabers. And I got Stranger Brigade because I used this Vulcan and it has multiplayer. And apparently it runs pretty good under Proton. So uh, definitely going to check that out. And yeah, Dead by Daylight because I'm like, oh, is, is, that, is that shit working now? And it's 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see anything um, that just wasn't close enough because I, I was going to buy the um the other EA game uh the co-op one mm. um everyone knows what I'm talking about where you gotta play as the uh, guy in the it girl. takes two yeah mm. but it was yet again on sale for I saw it was on I got the email it's like it's on sale it's like it's fifteen ninety nine again isn't it and I went and I'm like yep it's fifteen ninety nine again <laughs> that that's yeah. the only sale they know how to do for this game. I, I, I kept my search to like yeah ten dollars Canadian or under yeah. That was that, that was about uh, that was yeah no for for those three that I got it was like twenty pounds yeah we're good yeah. <laughs> okay all right so uh, do we get any like hot news that we need to cover well, we gotta we gotta talk about the 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 next proton yes <laughs> there we go hang on I had to make the five thirty six like a little bit bigger I got a new version of DaVinci Resolve after they updated the completely busted build they shipped two weeks ago. Mm. So things are like a little squishy. Um, ah, yes. Well, yeah, we, we got we got uh, Proton next. Well, it's oh, so we'll, we'll get into why that is. We'll talk about what it is right now. Uh, seven zero dash five. Uh, it's the good old Proton experimental roundup. It's all moved into Proton next. Um, so yeah, we we've seen these uh, release notes before because we've talked about Proton experimental on this show. Uh, <laughs> experimental did get some new sauce though, like some NV API fixes. Mm-hmm. Now that Nvidia is supporting that on. Proton. Um, Halo Infinite will work. It'll uh, launch on AMD. It's still a little borked on NVIDIA. And there's a bunch of new games that got added to the playlist, including a bunch of Animu games and that Uncharted 4 release that should maybe work now. They were, they were talking it up. It's like, oh yeah, PlayStation games on, on your Steam Deck. Oh, I guess it kind of doesn't work too right now. <laughs> you, so. you need Proton G, but it, it does work with G. That That's good. Well, um, I, I mean, now, that- now, so now, now it's supposed to work, work with uh, 705, so... I, I'll or have to try it tomorrow. Experimental, rather. Yeah. <laughs> Controllers do not work on Unravel, too, by the way. And <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sending that energy out to the person at Steam that watches this show. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't work. Fix that, please. That'd be awesome. Um, but up next. Proton. Next. Get it? Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Proton next because you know what we we needed it you know, for reasons. We we needed Proton five six seven, Proton RC, Proton Experimental, Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge, and now Proton next. What's different about it? What's different? I don't understand. Why do we need it next? Tell me. Help well, me. The, 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 this this is well, this is the middle step. This is before yeah. Experimental <laughs> filters into Proton Stable. This is one one additional hop before that. Which um, is kind of makes sense at this point because with experimental now they're using the newest versions of VKD 3D and the XVK, which require NVIDIA 510 or Mesa 22, which they said that they were not going to make that a hard requirement for the Proton 7 series. So now they have uh, Next, which is experimental without n- the need for the. Uh, Experimental that will work on your old ass hardware. Yeah. What the, official, <laughs> the official statement is whenever there's a new major stable update of Proton to test, next will appear mm-hmm. and go away, though. It's not going to be a. Uh, yes. Stalled. 
Oh, yeah. So they just made the uh, RCs official. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly you can still use the RCs though. <laughs> I, okay, well, so- now to my point, to my point, as what I said, fi- we have Proton 5, 6, 7, Proton RC, Proton Experimental, Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. We have seven versions of Proton that are available to your average Steam user. Mm-hmm. I fear that we might kind of be getting away from the thing that made Proton work in the first place. Maybe it's time to bring back the whitelist and just uh, hard lock so, games to here, the here, versions here, of Proton here's, that here's they the work. Thing, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Like, the, the, the whole it runs or it doesn't thing, like, I think really just applies to Proton Stable. Because the, the, the problem, quote unquote, here is that people are tinkering. People really, really like to tinker, and you can't stop them from doing it. Especially but do you know what people like more projects. than tinkering, Jordan? Complaining? No, clicking on play and playing a game. No, 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 no. Pe- pe- That's people, what most no. people like to do. Yeah, yeah. Most, the vast majority. Most, most people do. But but here's here's the thing though. Up and up until now, up until now, your primary audience was tinkerers. We have a change now. The Steam Deck is out. It's there's in the mainstream. It's in the mainstream. There's a lot of muddied water. Once upon Very a time, popular. when your main audience was the tinkerers, were the people who were like, okay, yeah, I'll fuck around with Proton Experimental. Exactly. Oh, I'll do Proton Tricks. So we're now, going now, in the now wrong we, direction. We, this, we need to get. We, we we have this muddied water, right? Like focus back on like from once it came when it was like just. Proton. Well, I, and that that's that's what Proton is. We just got to get better at the fucking messaging. We can't just say, it works great on Proton. We'll say, we got to say, well, it works great on Proton Experimental and not or just <laughs> play. Well, here's They my- do a good job with the, like, defaulting to the latest stable version when you enable Wild West mode so that everything works. Well, it's enabled by default now, but uh, it just defaults to the latest stable. It doesn't put people on Experimental, nothing like that, just... Whatever the latest stable is, yeah. So but uh, but again, I, I think it's it, I think it's the messaging, right? Because then you hear you see a lot of these blogs and websites going, "Oh, well, such and such game works flawlessly on Proton GE seven point two nine with this Mesa custom Mesa branch, right?" Like, there, there's always that asterisk, and we like we we as media need to get better at communicating that asterisk. Otherwise, people. Are yeah, the mainstream fucking... media don't really care. They just well, say, uh, "Yeah, it well, works me, great me, on Proton." What it means? Unfortunately, Pedro. this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem to the much dismay. We're it, Pedro. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's 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 kind of. Uh, <laughs> but but th- this 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 is niche. The people who fucking care about it are niche. Every, every everyone else is gonna just cl- uh, click play and get the regular Proton experience. And I, so, I tend to think yeah. about it from like troubleshooting ways of like, hey, does this run on Linux? And I'm like, okay, so you're going to have to install a different version of Proton. And from there, okay, now that you're sure in that, let me show you how to get into the beta for that because you're gonna need the RC version of that particular version. <laughs> And I, for the end user, the consumer who just bought the Steam Deck to play their Steam games and their Steam machines, uh, yeah, they just want that play button. Like I like that all this is here, but you know, uh, but, uh, it, but that's the thing. It's it's not it's not going anywhere. That that functionality still exists. It's just all this other stuff exists in addition to it, and we keep talking about it like it's the main thing. So yeah, what do you mean? Like that that that's the whole that's the whole point of Proton Stable. That's what I was just talking about. Proton Experimental is is the ticker thing. What if That's, I want to install Proton G? I mean, then you're mentally ill, and you should be carted <laughs> off to an asylum. I don't know. You can't be helped. I'm, you, you really dislike Fedora employees, don't you? I really do. <laughs> that one in particular. I, <laughs> love you, Aggie. <laughs> love you, Aggie. <laughs> You're 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 you're, do, you're doing God's work. Don't don't let him tell you otherwise. Oh man. Uh, no. <laughs> let's, the, let's talk about. Uh, no, it's just like it's awesome that we can even have that conversation of like, oh yeah, so many options, and it's kind of brilliant that we can, uh, you know, have, but yeah. they've done a good job. They've done a really good job with giving people the default out of the box experience. You fire up a Steam Deck, you can play most games already. Uh, if you want to tinker, the option's there for you. You want to add Proton G? You want to add plugins to the Steam Deck UI? You can. Yeah. It's it, it's oh. a very good experience. <laughs> so all I'm hearing is what you absolutely need to add to the UI is a Mango Hut button. Yeah, that's pretty much what Pedro just said. Because that's yeah, what I want. There's uh, one pe- there. <laughs> I, I, I want I want Steam Deck 2 to come with a muffin button. No, what it accidentally missed detects that I'm not running it on a Steam Deck. I would like a Mango Hut button. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's let's let, let's get gravy. Uh, yes. New games. 
Indeed. Grave Days is, uh, well, it's a zombie apocalypse roguelike that doesn't necessarily involve road tripping to Canada. <laughs> but, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> It looks a little bit like it, though, doesn't it? It does, very much so, which uh, I saw that's like, oh, that's road trip uh, to Canada. And yep, that there that's what it is. Uh, I very much look forward to it coming out of early access. It's not even available to download just yet or buy, uh, it, but I I do want to play it sometime. It, yeah, it I, looks I, apart. <laughs> I'm definitely getting some like, what if death road to Canada, but don't starve because it has mm-hmm. it has a lot of like the crafting survival elements. Uh, so I think I think someone really just liked the zombie fighting in death road and uh, wanted to expand that out. But there's no yeah. is is there going to be a Sailor Moon character that shoots rainbows at the zombies? Oh man, that death shit Ro- was so overpowered too. <laughs> man, it was great. I pff, we would play death road to Canada so much if they added legitimate online multiplayer. To right. Yeah, right? proper multiplayer. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'd be all over that just constantly because <laughs> it was a brilliant idea. I wish them the best of luck with this early access project. Yeah, you can't even download anything about it now, but it has been announced. Speaking of online multiplayer, though. Oh, yes. Armello, we're, it's back, baby. <laughs> a couple months ago, we were talking about how uh, the Armello folks, they moved multiplayer providers, and they unfortunately did not have Mac and Linux support. Well, the multi, the new multiplayer provider added Mac and Linux client support, so Meet's back on the menu, boys. Uh, the latest patch has the uh, functionality returned, so hopefully, I, ha- and I have not tested this out, we should be able to party up and play Armello back natively on Linux. Can I ask you a question? Uh, What's what's up? Fair question, because I've watched you guys stream, because this is not necessarily my wheelhouse, but this is also one of those games like, you know, if I had somebody just sit me down and explained it to me, I could probably get into this a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it seems like every single time I've ever tuned in to watch you with a group, it was a motherfucker to get the multiplayer up and working correctly, no matter. It was just part of the experience. Not really. It was usually pretty smooth, honestly. Um... Yeah, I, I, I never I never really found too much of an issue with like getting multiplayer games running in Armello. Sometimes sometimes they had like server issues. Um but yeah, for the for the most part it was it was pretty smooth. Um and then, it's then they had, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh what what was happening is like other stuff in the game just wasn't working super well. Like the, the sound was busted in like Proton and stuff. Mm. Uh but hey, if if the I if the native version is working now and you can get into multiplayer games well, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward. Armello is actually a really fun game, and I was I was sad to see that they were losing uh, Linux support. They ha- they have they have like a they have a spooky Armello out now too. Solemn Infernum. They have those these two new games coming out as well. Uh, Solemn Infernum is like an evil Armello. It looks instruments interesting, but it's uh, Windows only. I get now. this feeling that people on on our Discord uh, because yeah, Jordan used to play um, whenever <laughs> they could get enough people. I get the feeling that there were people on Discord complaining for longer than the four months that they say that um, the it, they stopped providing service in July. It's November at the time of recording. So it, it feels like it's been longer than that, but maybe not. Uh- <laughs> there, 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 there were, like I said, there were, there were other issues that were creeping into the game. So that might be mm. what you, that might be what you're remembering. Right. Mm. So yeah, I, yeah. Without anything specific, I, I could. Hey really man, if you, you want to play Battle Furries, it's back. It's a thing. You yes, can yes, Battle Furries, Murder Battle Wiggles, <laughs> Murder Wiggle, Aquamarine is not yeah. just your favorite flavor of ramen noodles. I I do wonder what that tastes like. Uh, no, Blue. it's a game where I, uh, we threw chairs at it uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, and, uh, we had some complaints, uh, namely, uh, my ones were, oh, you have a great art style, but you keep slapping this text on screen and covering it all up all the time. Well, they didn't fix that. They fixed a bunch of other stuff, which is very, very welcome. Uh, they made all the game controls ac- accessible from the screen during gameplay without you having to pause and bring the thing up and then click on the buttons and then bring the other thing around. It's like, yeah, there. Thank you. That that that's very much appreciated. Uh, uh, you have a, an actual option to set the HUD size, so you can see more of the actual art instead of the HUD taking like half the screen. So that's good. That's very good. Uh, and yeah, the general uh, quality of life improvements, which are very very welcome. Again, uh, I would point out that you have very nice art style, very hand drawn, very pretty. 
don't cover it in walls of text or maybe put like a smaller thing down the side where the text scrolls by that don't cover your nice looking game god damn it <laughs> keep covering it isn't it uh, I, I think we all need to actually thank the game awards on steam because it's amazing this coincidence of all these uh, quality of life updates and patches mm-hmm. that uh-huh. tend to show up yes. right around. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Please, please play our game and please, please, please consider us. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's all the broken shit that we've been. Yeah, we fixed some bugs. Yeah. Also, please nominate. Uh-huh. <laughs> please, please, please play it and maybe like us and nominate us. Yeah. So, yeah. Something that's not necessarily a bug on Linux. Uh, it's actually been made very, very easy, but it's always been a pain in our ass is, is the anti cheat, which yes. is. Well, you know, security theater. We all know that. I mean, mm-hmm. anybody who's like, there's something you installed. I mean, it keeps the absolute, like, the riffs of the rafts out. And we've seen it work on, Lin- well, I mean, it's Linux native. I mean, you can do it on Linux, but Valve has made it, like, extra super easy with the work from Easy Anti Cheat themselves to effectively click a button to enable it on Linux. And you take a box, download a file, and put it in the right place. That's it. That's all you got to do. The, the, the end user also needs to install a framework. Got to remember. Okay, yeah. So, so there's, much there's the Proton Easy Anti Cheat thing. That is a dependency. Kind of a yeah. Jordan <laughs> myself played all the way through um, Back for Blood. Yes. Didn't have a problem with it. And there's a couple other titles that use EAC that uh, we don't have any issues with. Ver, 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 Vermin Tide 2 is getting sorted. They're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> One game that I think all of us have been interested in because. You know, we do the show live and in the after shows and we invite everybody. It's a horrible idea, but I love doing it um, to come on and play games with us. And uh, we're, we're always on the lookout for like asymmetrical type stuff and Dead by Daylight, which you're like, well, that's fun. You know, somebody gets to be Jason or not Jason in this case. And, no no uh, Saj. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and everyone runs around, tries to fix motoring engines or something to that effect. It's always at EAC. And we have thought about it a couple of times because it always shows up in bundles and things like that. And you're like, don't I have that? I thought even thought I had it. And, I do now. I went ahead and bought it. Yeah, it's well, eight bucks. So yeah, I saw a post on Linux underscore gaming. Somebody had posted, "Hey, it's working now." I'm like, "All right, is it on sale?" And I went and checked that out. And like, oh, there it is. It was like seven bucks or something like that. So I bought a copy just to post some screenshots of it. And lo and behold, I mean, it's straight up uh, <laughs> compared to where's my Twitter thing? Do I have a Twitter? Is Twitter still alive? Yay! Look at that. Twitter still a thing. Um, <laughs> They just lost half their advertisers. They'll be fine. Oh, 100%, baby. Uh, yeah, it worked straight out of the box. No problems with it. I didn't do anything. Now, admittedly, I had the EAC thing installed with Proton for... Uh, back for Blood. Back for Blood. But I clicked play, jumped right in, got into a lobby, got into my first game. Uh, they immediately, naturally, and responsibly got upset with my complete ineptitude because I was just constantly getting hung. And like the, they saved me the first two times. And after that, they were like, you know what? Just stay dead. And I'm like, fair, fair, completely fair. So it was working on Thursday. Friday, it wasn't working. And Jordan's like, hey, it's working again on Saturday. So I, I went digging around in the forums and the developer says, hey, we don't support the easy anti-cheat on Linux just yet, but we'd like to. Please keep an eye on official channels for announcements on progress when the Steam Deck support is available. We have no ETA on this time. Now, that reads to me like a bunch of people sitting around, or at least two or three people having the conversations. Like, we just cut that on and that's it. It's working now? Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, let, let, let's 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 make sure it's a little more. St- let's 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 let it soak a bit before we announce that it's it's GA available to the world, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I, I I saw that it was on sale. I saw that then picked it up. I'm like, oh, it's working. And I fired it up this afternoon, and I got into a game, and it's like, well, I guess it's working now. So, yeah. And we plan on testing it out in the after shows, but there is a hundred percent chance that they could have. Disabled it by the time we get done recording. Right. Quite so, possibly, it's, it's yes. Proton Roulette. <laughs> Until this is like an official statement. That's why I want to drive that home. Don't buy this expecting it to just work out of the box. So, but it oh, is, yeah. well, what? seven ninety nine right now. Yeah, yeah it mm-hmm. looks. Do you have any thoughts on this, Pedro? I hear you got a copy of it. I did. Thank you very much for that. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, no, I started up. So I wanted to see if you mentioned on Discord. Yeah, I wanted to see if, if it works on the AMD. AMD yeah. It does. Right. Uh, I played through the uh, tutorials. It's like, okay, that that's working. 
I haven't actually tried to join an online match, but it didn't give me any errors going through all of the loading screens. That right, yeah, the, 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 the messages are like, oh, okay, yeah. I, I saw an We're loading this, we're registering that, we're setting up that. Yeah, okay. that thing is verbose, isn't it? I was like, I would yeah. expect, like, this is the type of, like, lockdown I would expect from, like, maybe a free-to-play title so, or something like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, I got a question for you though. Like, are okay. are you one of the people who um who lets the the Plymouth loading screen complete, or do you do you hit escape and you you watch all the system D services or whatever go through the? I only process? hit a button if it's taking too long. Otherwise, I just let it go. <laughs> I, I run Debian. It. Where do you where do you target? It doesn't about? come with Plymouth. No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Well, Plymouth is installed. It just doesn't have the uh, quiet. Uh, but what are you really uh, waiting yeah. on? Because I do see the OKs and it's like three, two, blink, done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't really. It, it makes me feel like a hacker, Ben. Okay. okay? <laughs> uh, a cracker well, hacker. I see the OKs in grain showing up. Yeah. All right. Well, coming up next, the GPU market is dead. Long live the GPU market. Scalp all the things. Yeah. No. If you'd like to spank your uh, hentai. You should totally watch the show live one of these days. Absolutely. Or uh, listen to it if you're one of our many, many audio listeners. It, it won't you even can, make sense uh, then. So okay. yeah, no. Serious <laughs> question. How how much noise? What do you think the noise floor in the hover yacht is? Like, could you sneak up on people with that? Or you just I, like... I, I, <laughs> man, man, like, yeah, that, that, that's Metal Gear Solid easy mode. I want, yeah, I want the stealth hover grab. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's it's like a silencer on a gun. It doesn't it doesn't make it like le- it doesn't make it doesn't silence it. It makes it less loud. But yeah, um, if you I don't know want to point a silenced pistol at Pedro Mateus, head on over to patreoncom slash Gamecast. Look, watch out for Nicholas Cage. He's gonna take your face off. Uh, yeah, sign up to our Patreon. You get some cool stuff like access to our Discord channel, uh, which you can also get by subbing to us here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gamecast. You just gotta link link your account and fight fight patreon fight twitch fight discord just not us patreon you'll, is pretty you'll, quick when you link your discord account twitch is either immediately there. gonna work it's gonna take two weeks or you're going to like oh man you gotta give twitch credit twitch is like yeah we know our things kind of slow sometimes bug the discord server administrators <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, if you're in our Discord channel, you get some cool stuff. You can talk to us for the other six days of the week. We're always around chatting about bullshit. Horrible idea. RSVP to game streams. I'm doing Borderlands three on Thursdays. Ven does Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, so if you want to RSVP for that, play some video games with us. Be an internet celebrity. Uh, you can get in on that stuff. Um, speaking of Twitch, we got to thank uh, Don M for being a 25 month resub. You know. Thank keep you keeping that keeping it real man <laughs> that's a really appreciate year. it yeah, yeah. That, that, that that's over two years yeah that's 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 some amount of math that i'm capable of doing is yes. that 0. 0.7 covid <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't i don't know it, it, it no, could over be. two years no that's a covid right there no, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we, 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 we got a store as well store gamecast.com buy buy some merch it's good Decent quality merch. I need to get myself a Hell Elks mug and fill it full of mayonnaise and drink it live on stream. <laughs> oh, we got hoodies. We got Francophile hoodies. Uh-huh. Uh, we got t-shirts. Yeah, we got uh, all sorts of crap. You should go buy it. Uh, cover yourself in LGC merch. Scare your neighbors. Entertain your school friends, because uh, I assume you go to school. Oh, you didn't refresh. I put the orange pie on the thing. You gotta I, quit I doing this bullshit, man. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I this is a weekly before thing. we fucking went live, man. I, I don't know. I prepare I shit early. Goddamn, here it is. Look. <sighs> Man, early. Okay, we got Amazon <laughs> Wish Zones. If you want to pick us up a token of love, show us some affection. You can do that. You can send in a note, and we will read that because it's a horrible idea. If you get anything for the studio, we end up back here, and I will publicly shame you. Now, back to whatever the hell this Roman chair thing is. Um, yeah, yeah it's a <laughs> back extension machine. I, my, my back is weak. I need to strengthen it. Not my biggest question. What is Jordan Swag going to do with the PCI Express by 8 extension ribbon cable? It's for the motherboard because uh, if uh, what it's not going to fit a dual slot GPU and give the you access motherboard. to the yeah. If you scroll down, there's there's one on the wish list. Ah, uh, this oh this, yeah this, uh, this, this guy <laughs> this guy yeah yeah yeah. If if, if I want if I want to use that other PCI port, I need and I want to stick a video card in slot A. I need an extension cord to make that happen. <laughs> Micro ATX. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
You know, you know, you know, it is, it is what it is, right? Here's something that would make Pedro's life better. I'm going to take a look at Wish Pedro's uh, Wish Zone is the flattest damn heat sink I've seen in a long time. Uh, a CP radiator yes. cut for heat pipe temperature control. Man, they got all the keywords in for that. Um, <laughs> it is yeah. the smallest uh, AM4 compatible heat sink that you can get. It's that one. Uh, and it drops the ambient temperature by 0.3 degrees Celsius. Oh, yeah. Amazing. It uh, uh, can do, I think it's up to 65 watts. It can cool effectively. So beyond that, you're kind of on your own. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am up to something. I am building the steam rectangle. As always, uh, the epic brain containment and the RAM, because we're going to have to buy that RAM. That's for the epic build. But here's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to be getting for our little steam machine, because here's what I want. It's going to replace Jordan's box. It's going to be a butter robot. It's going to be in that case form factor, but it's going to fit 5600G. So no one has any problem with the Corsair engine drum. It's cheap. It works. This, I, I this, know this is for the uh, Trackmania box, right? Uh, yeah, your box. Yeah. Which LPX is going to all the things. going to do all the things, right. No, no, yeah, it's yeah. cheap. 5600. It's a small thing. So this is going to be the first time I've ever bought a uh, micro ATX motherboard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, I've never played around with that. But superior cooling technology on the oh yes <laughs> that's got a bit more chunk to it <laughs> yes Some this is what i like to call barely will fucking fit in that little last case uh mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's you gonna can be get quiet. the nh9 which is slightly smaller it, it's and significantly about... smaller but it's also louder yeah uh, yeah, yeah okay. we gotta do yeah. quiet we gotta do quiet so yeah. but it will also give me another thing to uh another point of test or games and stuff like that, because I've been like, hey, how's it run on integrated? I'd be like, oh, boom, cut it on, and it'll work, and we'll have a backup box for it. But I will be live streaming um, the construction of that, because I have I have no idea. Like, I, I, I look forward to seeing your hands just get sliced to ribbons. It's like, uh, going to be interesting. It's going to yeah. be interesting, because it's got like a little fucked up power supply thing in it, too, and I like, oh, this, like I, oh, yeah. I'm not going to read any instructions on this, because I was like, how do you even mount this thing? It's like, ship, stop. <laughs> so, so what, 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 what's the over under on the Dremel getting brought out on the live stream? <laughs> Listen, there, there's no situation where I don't win. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> it might not be it's pretty, going in I'm there one way it. or another. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do thank you for your support. Keep it as loud, live, and independent. And yeah, come say hi. Come hang out with us and uh, help us keep doing cool shit. Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic. Sex and candy, yeah. <laughs> Video well, games. Who, I thought we just who, talked about who, them. Who's, who's that lounging <laughs> in my chair? Who's that casting deep dark stares in my direction? Devious stares in Jensen? my direction. No, baby. We're talking about nose diving GPU market. Uh, I know everyone clutch pearls, shock Pikachu. That's right. Uh, the GPU market has nose dive, the sales are the lowest they've been. Oh, shock. Decade. I know. Uh, no one's always what, coming. What? No, no, you don't have $1,000 to buy a new GPU? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here, yeah, here, neither do most people, apparently. Here's a number graph filled with number digits, and you can see Q3 2022 is uh, down to like six number, down from 10 number, which is mm-hmm. shipments of uh, discrete uh, graphics cards, uh, which uh, millions of units. Okay, I was like, well, they ship ten cards and ten billion from ten <laughs> that's, million that's, to six that's million the Intel from, arc units. Yeah. yeah, just from Q1 to Q3, six. So we dropped about three million shipments in this, and you know, this is a couple of things. You know, I think a very large chunk of this is like miners are no longer buying GPUs by the pallets. Yes. That's Which the, is a very the big thing. one. <laughs> no no, no also, one can afford those if inflated rates as well. Right? From when, when they were buying GPUs by the pounds, because that was how the economy of scale worked at that point. We got a couple of other things, like little tendrils in this, because, you know, it no small part of this is people like us. It's customers looking at the pricing information on the latest Salvo from NVIDIA and AMD and looking at those prices and just genuinely just going, nah. I mean, beginning in the middle of that conversation, and even the poor scalpers are having a tough time, everybody, because they they were, they were, had an article on uh, the prices of people who scalped the 3080 for some bizarre reason. Like, no one's buying it. Everyone's just sitting back going, not, <laughs> not going to Won't you please it. think of the scalpers? Man, you know it's Somebody. bad when the scalpers have enough. But basically, we've all just had enough of this shit, man. Because, you know, on the high end, you got that install base that 
just really, really overspent and bought the, you know, a pandemic priced AMD or NVIDIA card. Like they paid through the teeth. You know, they paid thirteen hundred dollars for a thirty seventy and like they gotta eat that. They you wanna recoup that. You gotta recover from that. You don't immediately go back out and like, why are the regular new cards that are not why are they why is the MSP a thousand dollars? That's bullshit. And that's it's, compounded. It's, it's 999. Yeah, Come right, on. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, all of this is compounded by the very simple fact that if you have a 3070 or a 6700, like something better than that, there's not a whole lot that you can't play right now, baby. Like yeah. every, all the games are going to run. And, you know, if you're living that 1080p life like I am, 3060 or 6600, you're good. You're good. Like, no complaints. You can probably do a lot of 144p gaming. And, you know, I'm sitting here, like, just out of curiosity, the announcements from AMD and NVIDIA. NVIDIA was funny because, like, NVIDIA, very few people are going to fucking pay that price for that card. We're not that dumb. I know you got to you gotta shoot the dumb tracer around. Like, can we get away with this? I understand as a corporation, you got to do that. And so does AMD. But, yeah, we're not, maybe a little bit of faith in humanity we can restore right here. Where everyone just kind of went, we're not normalizing $1,000 video cards, motherfuckers. Letting no, we, 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 we really got to push back on that as consumers. Yeah, I, I certainly wasn't blown away. I was I was all like, come on, AMD announcement. Come on, Lisa, give me some good shit. And they're like, yeah, look, here's all this good shit for a thousand dollars. It's going to be thirteen hundred Canadian anyways. So, yeah, like a, a, a lot of us, I, I pe- people like me who aren't in the market for like a used GPU, we're looking forward for like to like February for the new SKUs, like the like the the seventy seven hundred. And the the forty sixty or whatever, like give us something that can we can actually afford, and yes. not have to like give up like a month's rent in order to fucking play some fucking video games. Well, do either of you feel that? Here's something I don't think anybody's really taken because we've seen the price point that you can sell a modern GPU at <laughs> if you're willing to fucking effectively break even, and that's mm-hmm. what Intel did with the A770. Mm-hmm. 16 gig card with the best that they could put out right now and like nothing about that card was cheap but they were able to get it at a price point of 350 dollars which is being scalped for double that but <laughs> but that kind of gives you a little bit of insight of like okay wh- how much of this is just hey we've we've gotten really comfortable over the past couple of years getting that um you know it was, mm-hmm. it was, it was hard drives right yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like b- 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 back back when back when uh, Ty- Taiwan flooded and mm-hmm. HDD prices shot way the fuck up, and that made all the SSD prices shoot all the way down. I think Except it's just like nobody is going to. Yeah. Like, well, it's, it's there, just there's it, no there's no alternative, right? No. Like we're kind of stuck no. with GPUs. There's there's no like other bit of technology that can just like invalidate the GPU. But no, we're we're, we're stuck. Pedro didn't AMD even AMD. Uh, with their latest uh, generation of CPUs, like this week or week before, they dropped the prices on those. Yeah, the yeah. fifty six hundred G and the fifty seven hundred G, and the um. You got to put it out there, and you go, "Oh, right, they're not, they're not having that, are they?" Hmm. Yeah, the moment Wait, you the, have the, 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 something the like or the seventy seven, whatever the, 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 the no, the, the APUs. The, 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 uh, oh, the APUs. No, they don't have the yeah. new, new ones out. Yeah, the um, 5700G, that started out as like a $400 um, APU, mm-hmm. and now it's like 300 or under mm-hmm. 300 200 and something. And the reason for I'm an getting... For 8-core 16-thread yeah. with a built-in, very powerful GPU Reasonably for what it is. Reason. Then you get the 5600G. I already have one 5600G, and I paid like 120 bucks for that. I'm going to get a second one for like 108 baby. Yeah, I mean, the, if the market they're, keeps they're going like CPUs. this... Uh, I, I, I've i been wanting to get Nori like a 6600 uh, to replace the f- um, RX 570 because that RX 570 still pulls a lot of weight. Uh, so I wanted to get her like a, an RX 6600, but I want it to be like the price similar to what the dollar price is because I'm not paying 220 pounds minimum for a card that sells for $180 in the US. That's why That's you just, just need to buy happen. an R9 furry <laughs> nano. <laughs> Those are stupidly buy, expensive. Buy, buy, buy two of them. Yeah, <laughs> run, run them in crossfire. I, I looked on eBay. Uh, the Vega sixty four, the Vega fifty six, the Furry X, and the Furry Nano. They're like two hundred pounds. Mm. The fuck? Who's gonna pay that? <laughs> but okay, now we're looking at like our current generation, the new stuff, the uh, forty series, and the new um, 
cards. Seven thousand, yeah. the seven thousand series from AMD. What, what is really an offer? Like rasterization performance is good, but then again, everything all the from the thirty series and the six thousand series is really good too. Right now, nobody's like trying to game at eight K outside of tech coopers. Uh, the what, what, what do we have? Uh, we have AV one encoding. Everybody's going to do that, um, which is going to be interesting for AMD on that side. Um, but you know, Nvidia's got DLSS three. I'm like, mm, have you seen DLSS two? It's pretty damn good, Brad. Uh, nothing, nothing to justify that thousand dollar price tag or nine ninety nine. I, I mean, it, tw- 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 twenty four keeps... gigs of VRAM is nice, but it's nice. That's <laughs> well, not okay. Good. Here's the thing: you take a look at our wish list. Nobody's like that's not even an aspirational thing. I'm like, man, that'd be nice to get one. You're like, that's silly. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're looking, if you're looking at a price of that GPU, and then at the same time you look, oh, the Steam Deck is a pretty competent gaming machine, and the entry price is four hundred dollars for the entire computer. Why mm. wouldn't you? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, if, if you if you really just want to play your video games, yeah, the Steam Deck's gonna yeah. gonna do you about as good as anything will. How, what if I want to know how long it's going to take me to play my video games? <laughs> uh, well, well you, you have to check with Strider first. He's an expert. Yeah, on that. Uh, Strider will always have a bit of a comment on how long you should be playing your video games for uh, and everything else that you throw at him because he likes that. But yeah, uh, if you're using the uh, Heroic Games Launcher, well, wouldn't you know it? Now they have included how long to beat on the uh, game page. So if you just go to the game page for any given game if the um entry is there on how long to beat then it shows that information directly in the ui which is very very nice the thing that jumped out sort of though it it is it it, it is a little broken if you have like a trademark or a registered or whatever in the name if you have any special characters it doesn't work very well (laughs) your your, your weird hentai games probably won't work (laughs) Depends, yeah, depends on how they're handling uh, bitmap fonts. But yeah, the thing that actually jumped out at me was the bit that says the interface when using a joystick should be more seamless and follow the same controls as the Steam Deck UI. Thank you. <laughs> I've actually been using uh, Heroic on my Steam Deck, not for the Epic side, nor really here, uh, but for GOG. The GOG, the games I have on GOG, it makes them a lot easier to just install it using um, Heroic. That's a dig on you, Strider. Uh, and if it works with the joystick, means I don't have to smear my greasy fingers all over the screen to get it to do things. Thank you. That's very much appreciated. So uh, something I want to ask both of you is uh, when it comes to like how long to beat, how much value do you put in this? And do you even look? Because when I, when I take a look to see, hey, how long is it going to take to beat? I want to know how much enjoyment I'm going to get out of it. I'm not looking for any other metric. I'm just making sure yeah. it's not two hours. I don't usually check it. I like, I uh, honestly, like today I learned that website exists. It doesn't surprise me that such a resource does exist, but mm. like it's, it's not, it's not usually a thing I consider when I, when I buy games, mm. I, I look forward to being disappointed by how short a game is It's happened before. It will probably happen in the future, but if I like the game anyway, I don't care how short it is. Play it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretend it's a roguelite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Set the uh, challenge spo- for yourself. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> if, do, I have, do uh, if I can put a request into the uh, heroic peeps, if any of you are listening to the show, please consider adding support for Lux Torpedo, which is that little thing that automatically pulls the open source or engine re-implementations for a bunch of already existing games. That I th- I thought, would be I awesome. I thought that that's what Captain Kirk shoots at the Klingons, the Lux torpedoes. There's another meaning to it as well. I don't remember what it is, but yeah, there's many meanings to Lux torpedo, but I'm, I mean, this uh, compatibility software specifically. <laughs> okay. How about tabletop club? Tabletop club. You want to play some board games? Well, Dr. What does and on his itch.io page, you can download a online capable board game tabletop. Simulator. It's it is straight up tabletop simulator done Godot. Like it's just a straight up clone. I downloaded and ran it. It launches out of the box on Fedora 35. Um, yeah. And it is straight. It straight up looks and handles like tra- uh, tabletop Look simulator. That, made without- with game, pink, scape, blender and Godot. 
Yeah, without any of the unpro- without any of the problematic unfiltered chat where people shout a bunch of awful <laughs> awful things in Tabletop Simulator. Don't know how to deal with any of that. It also has a well designed or a well defined asset pack format. So if you want to actually implement games and minis and stuff, it's pretty easy to do. There's a pretty uh, there's a standardized way of importing stuff. Did I mention it has online multiplayer? Literally every fucking multiplayer game we've covered on Steam so far, like in the past year, that th- this free project has online multiplayer for, for their multiplayer game. I don't know. It's it's it seems like something that more more uh, games should implement, especially when it's really easy to do in Godot right now. Also, it's free. Cheap is free. So it's open source. Look at it. Yeah. I I downloaded it. I launched it, and I was always curious on. Uh, I mean, it comes with chess and poker, but there's a bunch of asset packs you know, that you can download. What do you think would be the most entertaining um, board game to play, Pedro? What is a good <laughs> Portuguese-themed board game? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, there's a couple uh, Portuguese-specific uh, variations of, say, Risk, but... It, it, it's it, it's it's about the conquests, like the Portuguese conquests, but it it's effectively risk, but just with a Portuguese theme to it. Prisk, <laughs> yeah, prisk. <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> what I want to see is this um, get support for you know proprietary established um, tabletop games. What what I'd like to see is like uh, what what made tabletop simulator really really easy was the Steam Workshop had it. Mm-hmm. Was was really easy to locate a game that you wanted to play within uh, one Tabletop button sim. install. <laughs> yeah, that the, the game needs something like this, some sort of some sort of like centralized repository for board games, uh, and then I think it will really really succeed. All and right. I hope it does. It's really neat. it's really cool. Yeah, I, I like yeah. I like playing board games. So <laughs> and again, all of this can be found in our show notes over at LinuxTeamcast dot com. Yeah. One last Maybe. thing is a project I've been following is Web Arcade. Why? Because it's just neat. And just to add to that neatness, they've added Sega CD support, which to my addled 90s little brain is just what hot. So I can just play this through the browser. Jordan, what is Web Arcade, though? What, well, what people well expect? Web Arcade is straight up a, a browser based emulator uh, that will just straight up run ROMs in your browser. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, for uh, for a Sega CD, you will need uh, firmware for the uh, Japanese, uh, European, and uh, American uh, locales if you want to actually play the game. Um, but yeah, like uh, it, you straight you straight up will it'll straight up load the firmware and the ROM and you can, in your browser and you can play fucking Sega Saturn games. Hey, they they added uh, they they took uh, PlayStation support out of Experimental as well. Ooh. Yeah, so like we're we're living in the fucking future, man. You could like yep. we're we're talking about it in the in the in between segments. Remember the console wars? It's like no, bro. I just fucking play in the mall in my browser now. It's completely low effort. So okay, you could go back in time to um, let's say like seven year old you or whatever generation. What and you you can show them one thing. You can't speak to them. The only way you could communicate is by holding up an object. Would it be the Steam Deck or uh, the Steam Deck uh, is running? the game that they're playing at that point the one that they would recognize just show them the steam deck running that <laughs> or yeah, like what, what what would be what would be the, the the equivalent of like crisis of like 1997 right like that on that on a handheld um uh, half life <laughs> <laughs> that would only come out in 98 but yeah <laughs> no what you do is you find the 3d mark with the um Waterfall mm, and the yeah. log with the camera over, like, huh? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, that needed a supercomputer. This is running my hand. Then, then you show them only fans. So, <laughs> well, see, see, seven year old Jordan would be very interested in that. Yeah, it's a, well, I mean, the entire concept of Reddit and a subreddit dedicated to just fans, I think, is amazing. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Uh, the real fandom, yeah. so, as yep. one might say. <laughs> The, the fan dance. All right, well, coming up next, we're throwing chairs at Rogue Legacy 2. They came out with the Linux version and they sent us copies, so we're going we're gonna to do it. That's right. It's not horny chi- t- 
horny, horny chime. chime. <laughs> Can you hear the horny chimes? Ding, ding, it's ding, the chair. Ding, ding. It's the chairquisition time. This week. What is it? It's where we take a game. We run on a bunch of different Linuxes, running a bunch oh, of different okay. hardwares. Right. Give it a chair. Uh, give it a chair-based score. One chair means that it's terrible. Four chairs means that it's great. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Rogue Legacy Two, done by Cell- Cellar Door Games, done on the FNA engine. Thank you, Ethan Lee, for making all the controller shit work. Uh, you can pick it up for about twenty four ninety nine US. What is it? Rogue Legacy Two is what you'd get if you'd mash Rogue Legacy and a sequel together. Eat, every time you die, your children will succeed you. Each child is unique. Your daughter might be a colorblind archer. Your son could be a pacifistic chef. Either way, one of them is getting conscripted. Uh, we got to thank the devs for sending us some keys to this. So let's get into it. Pedro, you get to go first this week, as per usual. I, I like video games. Go figure. Uh, yeah, over here, it launched out of the box on the desktop and on the Steam Deck. The controller is properly recognized. FNA for the win. Uh, the... On the desktop, it actually holds 144, which I'm still happy about. It wasn't that long ago that FNA just didn't go up that high. Uh, It is unmistakably Rogue Legacy, but smoother. There's no hipster pixels here. The characters are actually rendered in 3D, but made to look damn good in 2D. Uh, They have like a series of videos. You should totally watch it if you're into that. And the sounds all them do a damn good job of conveying what they mean, unlike, you know, me. But we'll get into that later. Uh, the background music is certainly there, but it didn't really stick out for better or for worse. So, eh, it's fine. As for the fun, well, did you like Rogue Legacy? Uh, the game which put the term roguelike uh, on the ste- uh, roguelite on the Steam store and damn near gave Strider an aneurysm? Well, this is that. Rogue Legacy, I mean. Uh, if you want to give Strider aneurysms, you simply need to voice an opinion on Discord or on uh, Mastodon or wherever he happens to be. Uh, <laughs> he'll give you an earful. But Rogue Legacy 2 is more of what the first title did. More polygons, more frames of animation, more enemies, more bosses, more ways to die, more in-game currencies. There's like four of them now. Um, More places to spend those currencies, more character classes, more character quirks, more weapons, more spells. There's more chances to end uh, end up with a completely gimped character which can't do anything, but you need to do a run with it anyway because they make 300% more gold, so you have to do it. Uh, It may be unfortunate in the sense that if you have the first Rogue Legacy and then you get Rogue Legacy 2, you really have no reason to ever play the first one again because this one is just better. It, It does everything that the first one does, but does it better. It's And considering where they set the bar with the first one, Ah, that's just fucking impressive. Four chairs. <laughs> yeah, on uh, Fedora 35, 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti because I'm so crusty old. Launches out of the box, uh, holds 240 frames a second at UHD. I would turn off VSync if I were you because otherwise it gets a little laggy. Um, they put uh, they, It's a significant graphical upgrade over the first Rogue Legacy. Everything Pedro said, it looks very good. All, all of the all the art looks extra great. Uh, they did a really good job of translating like the pixel style over to this hand-drawn style. And yeah, it looks really good. They also put some money into the soundtrack, too. It's pretty bumping for what it is. Uh, it's an FNA game, so you know controls work out of the box. Everything is sanely mapped. You can select your prompt style uh, in the options menu. Everything is remappable. It's good stuff. Turns out... SDL2 is some good shit. Fun-wise, did you like the first Rogue Legacy? Then you will like this game. It does everything that the previous game does, only better. No, like Pedro said, he he, he went over all the all of all the new content. Uh, the only real gripe I have with it is that it's kind of a bit samey. Like this is this is not an evolutionary update. This is an iterative update of Rogue Legacy. Like they've they've definitely put in all the work necessary to like make the best experience of rogue legacy uh but it's not doing anything really new and that's not that's not a bad thing that is that is just something something to be considered if you're coming in here expecting like an entirely new twist on rogue legacy you're not gonna get it you're just gonna get more of the same but you're gonna get a more refined polished version of the same and you know that that that's that's an approach for sequels um and it's perfectly fine i had fun with it for what it is i'm not really good at i wasn't really good at the first rogue legacy and as such i'm not very good at this particular iteration um but yeah they all all the all the traversal stuff is fun like they they they're adding more of this like um 
Celeste style platforming that I think it does pretty well. Um, it, it's it's pretty well integrated into the entire game. I'm, I'm going to give it three cheers. I think they did a pretty good job with this one. Check it out. Yeah. Over here on Debian Testing Land, uh, yeah, running um, Debian Bookworm, 1920X, uh, NVIDIA 3060, doing all that business. One doing full screen work. Always like to see that. Happy to see that there is a, a frame limiter, which is good because you can get a bazillion frames out of this. I limited it to 120 at uh, 2160p, and that is with the settings above high, just says 4K. That's the one I put it on. I assume that's what they were going for. X Clone works out of the box, and it even has moon glyphs. For the ps4 as well and on top of that they even give you an option to force the glyphs like if you need to play with the like your what amazon luna, luna controller, controller or yeah. something like that on on mac os yeah if that's the life you want to live go for it but let's talk about the game because this thing's really nice looking it's really well polished a lot of work went into this period can't get around that i dig the art style serviceable soundtrack as jordan mentioned tight controls too and you're going to need them and uh, because it gives you plenty of excuses to use them and get killed to death while you're attempting it. And uh, damn, I, I just love me a good Metroidvania action platformer. They even went out of their way to like try to put lipstick on this game genre that uh, I, Jordan, are you a fan of this genre as much as Pedro? I like, I like roguelikes. I, I'm a big fan of emergent narrative and gameplay. So it, all right, it's, it's the thing I like. Not a fan of the rogue any things, but you know what? I'm here to try it out, to try to get a taste for it. And mind you, you know, I will take a rogue light over like any day of the week. And you know, at its core, what is it? It's kill, die, repeat the game. I say that every time we play one of these. I know, but building your legacy while upgrading the castle and holding on to some, like some of that earned progression takes a little bit of the sting out of it. But you know, there's no way around the grind, though. I mean, that's part of the genre. You just keep on grinding, 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 grinding. And upgrading and upgrading, you end up like that big massive castle like Pedro has. And I kind of would have liked some location options right from the jump, though. Because I got bored grinding on that same castle. Because like Jordan, I'm not very good at these things. But I, I you know, I kept coming back. And I'm not saying any of that would have changed my mind on Rogue anything, but it might have just squeezed another hour of play out of me because I really enjoy the gameplay. Just not the loop. But there's, you know, plenty of classes to play around with and environment puzzles. I mean, there's a lot of fun to be had. And even someone like me can squeeze a wee bit of fun out of it, which I did. You know, I got about an hour in here to just play it around. And if you're not a fan of the rogue genre, or rogue legacy too, it's not going to change your mind. But here it comes damn close. So, I mean, this game gave me the same feels as Skull, the Hero Slayer we reviewed uh, quite some time back where I just really enjoyed the platforming. I enjoyed the combat. I enjoyed pretty much everything about it, except the core mechanic, which is, I just didn't enjoy the loop. Uh, hey, it's perfectly functional. It's really good looking. It's really good sounding. And I, I have nothing to complain about. If this is your gem, I think it's safe to say, even at that price, what is it currently at? 25 bucks. It's a little steep. Yeah, it's 15% like... off for the sale. <laughs> But like it's 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 not like this is a lazy game at all. Like no. there is there is work done in it. If you buy this game at full price, you will likely get your money's worth. Also, I managed to hide my mini map somehow, and I've never been able to get it back. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that sucks. By the way, in this game. Yeah. it's in the options. <laughs> oh man. Um, re re reading is hard. Speaking of that, it's the hate mail segment coming up next. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> we're not getting swifty, mostly because Twitch would just ban us if that were to be the case. I don't know. I, I just mean, took a shit on the floor. How dare where, you? Where do you think Twitch ends with their opening to categories? Like in 2045, is there a shit on the floor category? <laughs> it, no, there's, 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 listen, listen there, there's a battle for the top rank in the get swifty <laughs> in the get swifty category. That is intense competition. <laughs> Well, I'm sure as soon as uh, payment methods all uh, start to reluctantly accept porn, Shitcoin? I'm sure uh, <laughs> Twitch will also accept porn. Swiftcoin. So, <laughs> uh, going from there to scat is just, uh, you know, <laughs> a hop I, and I skip mean, away. Listen, there's already scat on Twitch, but it's just people free jazzing. <laughs> 
I don't remember the lyrics to uh, the Scat Man now, but uh, yes, uh, I'm sure there would be a, a relevant verse on that one. Uh, if you can remember what the relevant verse is, you should absolutely go to lyricsgamecast.com, hit the contact button, read the uh, caveats at the top. No Scat there yet, but uh, we're working on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Boop, boop, Pick the topic LGC Weekly. There we go. There's the poop. Uh, <laughs> LGC Weekly to send hate mail to this show. Um, LWDW to send Ven and Jill um, some feedback for the Wednesday show. Ask Jordan for relationship advice. Indeed. And there's the ubiquitous <laughs> other category. I have, I have a wife and a house. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> and a child. <laughs> yeah, that was <one's> weird. <laughs> <laughs> Will place those bets in strange places. So, what do we got this week? Uh, something I know nothing about. Yeah, Nick this is M. A, yeah. Wayland versus Xorg says I can choose between Wayland and Xorg slash X11 before I hey, log you on. Go? Cut all the lights. <laughs> Ran away. My, right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep reading. Keep Scatman Crothers, why did you st- why did you destroy our stream? Damn you, Scatman! Damn you! Uh, my Steam Deck uses Wayland using during gaming, and Xorg using during desktop mode. What's Wayland's main advantage over X for gaming? Question mark. Can I do the switching for the PC? I don't know what that last part means, Pedro. <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh, can he switch? Make the switch to Wayland on the PC? Uh, yeah, the Steam Deck still uses X11 for um, the desktop session because it's already running the Wayland session, so it just spawns a new X session, and KDE works better in X still. Uh, no, I do have a Wayland. question. Do you have to, like, reboot in order to get to the desktop mode? Or? No. It, it just starts uh, X on a different TTY. <laughs> I don't know if it's on a different TTY exactly, or if it's just running it on top of game How mode. You, but can you, can you yeah. swap TTYs in, in Steam OS? Like if, if you like plug a keyboard in and you do like Control Alt F two, does it take you to a terminal? I haven't tried yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. <laughs> mm-hmm. Something some, some try. Report back yeah. to us. The main advantage that I've found to use um, Wayland for gaming is frame timing is a lot more consistent it's a lot smoother of a line if you're ever using mango hud play the same game on x versus wayland and in my experience uh, it's not necessarily more fps but it will give you a much smoother uh frame time graph which is kind of what you're looking for so it that's that's the main one so are there gonna I be mean- any advantages to like running because I'm going to be running X. What if I could run? Can I like that's like game mode though, not game mode. Um, what am I thinking? Of? Game scope. Game, game scope. scope. That's using uh, Wayland on top of X, isn't it? Yes, that is the the other way around versus what uh, how uh, desktop mode works on the deck. <laughs> hmm. It's so, yeah. You can absolutely just use game mode and run the game in there since it's not using any X contact. Well, it is using the X context to spawn the game mode window. But that's about it. All the rendering is being relayed to you via Wayland. I mean, I mean like if definitely if you're on uh, AMD, give it a shot. I I don't know about Nvidia. I I have not I have not dipped my toes. Supposedly it works, but I don't know how well Nvidia Wayland. Uh, Arthur in, uh, on our Discord, uh, he has tried it and discovered. <laughs> I remember him posting a screenshot of the Nvidia driver uh, configuration thingy mm-hmm. which uh is specific for x so when you launch that in wayland you get no options oh man <laughs> oops well, you see, these are like <laughs> very it, it, basic in all respects like x render stuff right though so does it i don't see i gotta answer a lot of these questions man this is one of going to be one of the more interesting things about getting the uh, second 5600g because one of the things i was like shocked about and maybe this is concerned maybe it's solved if just running wayland proper but just running an amd side where, where's the equivalent of the nvidia settings with my rgb's uh contrast and all that just put together right there so i can you know do color adjustments and save that that I requires nvidia it. to get off their ass and properly support Wayland. no i'm talking about where's that for amd at all uh, oh I, that I, never I, had it oh 
Uh, okay. Are, are there, it's never there, had there... one for X. Uh, there was the Radeon profile that lets you switch the power profiles. You can still run that GUI in Wayland just fine. But most of that functionality is accessible or exposed via the command line, and no one's ever really bothered to make a proper GUI for it. <laughs> they just deal with it. You know, you know what? Now, <laughs> I, I guess now there's real incentive for that to exist now that, you know, you can actually get a distribution like running Wayland stock. It's not it's not this weird yeah. experimental thing anymore. <laughs> it's it's the default in a lot of cases. So, uh, yes, FGLRX had uh, a control panel that's that was very similar to NVIDIA's, but uh, FGLRX was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did, did, did you try using it? I don't, I don't, it was shit. <laughs> I don't know that. Um, interesting, interesting. So, would you say, I mean, are you using Wayland right now? Yes, Pedro. I am. All right. You like it? Is it good? Uh, again, the uh, from my experience, frame timing is a hell of a lot smoother. So I've just, I, I've wanted, ever since I tried Wayland on this box, it's like, oh God, I just want to use Wayland from now <laughs> on. But it, has it been like a, a conscious thing or has it just been like, oh yeah, I turned on Wayland and everything just works the same now, more or less, aside um, from like the lack of Wayland specific support and stuff. When I was still on KDE Neon, it was a conscious thing. It's like, okay, let's try Wayland. I tried it. It's like, oh, oh, this works really well. Okay. I guess we're just going to stay in Wayland from now on. And then I installed Nobara and that just defaults to Wayland anyway. So I, I, I was, uh, I was definitely on the Wayland train when I was uh, using what is now my uh, girlfriend's computer with the uh, 5700 XT, because that was all AMD all the way down. And I was surprised just how smooth and like painless that entire process was. So yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be pretty <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Then you get to play around with the pipe wire too. So like you yeah. get bonus stuff to play with. Have you tried um, the uh, yeah, Pipewire but... native support in Chrome? I don't know if it's native, but it shows up as its own separate thing if you're no, using no, Katia. That, that, or... That's a flag that you can enable. I have it enabled, but... Does, does, does it show up when you switch it to like pro audio mode? I don't know. <laughs> yes. It okay, shows no, up no. on its own uh, thing if you're using QPW Graph or Katya or any of the then, other then I guess space. Then I guess the answer is yes, probably, sort of, not really. I don't know. <laughs> I can take a screenshot right now. <laughs> no, 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 we believe you. All right, that's going to wrap it up. We've solved um, whatever the hell that question was supposed to be. Thanks. Did we? Did we? I, yeah. I, have, I have way more questions now. <laughs> Jesus. It's been covered. It's been covered. I mean, no more science can be applied to it. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in touch with me, just at uh, Vin Stone. I'm still on Twitter. It hasn't uploaded yet. Or at Vin at mass.lenschemecast.com. A bunch of people have been following me over there. And I'm pretty active on that. Come say hi in our Discord if you're a Twitch subscriber or patron sub. Uh, we have IRC. All the other fun places that we may or may not be. I'm I'm Jordan. I'm very very sleepy. You can watch me sleep, I guess, on on, on my Twitch channel, <laughs> twitchtv slash Fool. I'm our Twitter at the Burning Fool, or I'm I'm trying to use the Mastodon more. Matt uh, Frojo at mastodonlinuxgamecast.com. <laughs> and you can find me creeping on Jordan's uh, sleep stream uh, <laughs> uh, at unaccounted for on elon net or at unaccounted with the actual number four uh, on mass.linuxgamecast.com because i i'm doing the same thing with mastodon now that i do with twitch i just lurk i follow a bunch of people <laughs> and i just lurk that's what i do <laughs> pedro likes to watch hey man <laughs> he's a wrong button credits there we go star trek voyeur <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fragrant. Fra uh, fragrant. I'm fragrant right now. I need to take a shower, man. It's it's pretty bad, <laughs> actually. Man, that's some next level if you can smell yourself. Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, it's 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 been a minute. Got to thank our Arthur, our Arthur and Omega Star advisors. We've got our executive producers. They are Barbara M. Scott Bashir, Tom McCast, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George Pebble, Tomaj, and Unoid. Chicago, Chicago kicks ass. ass. Abstraction. Super Death Stone. Ha. Ah, done. That was easy. <laughs> You oh, did it. Sea Monster, so Renault, Ryder X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frost, Claude, Nubbin, David, Darkwing, System T, and Denzing Joe. 
Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romero, Marcin, Rene, Leonardo, Dak, Doom 2, Dodger, Xanthrus Gaming, Road, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Stein, Fox Dogs, Lapelis, Sherlings, like Lord Maka, Brock, Giovanni, Joanna, Gronka Delonka, Paul, Ertay, Jolly, Tomas, Christ, we're at the end of this. I mean, if we can 100% this, I think we get the achievement. Steam achievement. Alex, Zen, D Spec, Yatko, Mark, Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, hi, fuckers. All of our fine, upstanding animals. Carl Mycroft here in Linux New Orleans, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Gamatron, and Unoid. Hey. We need LGC we, achievements now to pop up. Now I want to do that animation. Just I, I mean, I mean we, 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 should, we, should, we should talk to the uh, <laughs> we should talk to the, the achievement guy. We, we had him on the show. The Fediverse oh, achievement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the open source achievement okay. person. Yeah, 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 I have an idea. The, yeah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. We can there all go back to this moment and go, that's where it took that fucking turn. <laughs> that's where the thing And went that's wrong. how it turned into a crypto scam. <laughs> Dynafire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>